In this video, we're gonna make our own GPS tracker using GSM module. That means it doesn't require any Wi-Fi connection at all. It will work from any corner of the world and you will be able to track this project live using your Blink IT platform on your smartphone. And well, we do have two emergency features built in this project. So we do have many things in one single project in one single video. So let's get started. So for making this project, you require a TTGO t call module, which is an ESP32 based board, but it do have GSM module built in. If you're not familiar with this board, then kindly watch out my getting started video on it. It is a must check out board, so do watch it out. After that, we'll require a Neo 6M GPS module to get the location and a battery to power up the project. Using these three components, you can easily make a live tracking device. But as I said earlier, I have provided two features for emergency situation. So we'll require these all components as well. So for making this project, you need to connect all the components in this manner. Now to make this project more compact and sturdy, I designed my own custom PCB for this project. And after that, I gave its order to GLC PCB. For ordering your own PCB, you just need to upload the Gerber file, select the color masking if you want, and pay for your order. Within 10 days, I got the delivery of the PCBs at my home safely. So try out GLC PCB to get your own customized PCB delivered at your home. Now if you want the exact same PCB which I am using then hey I am giving away free PCB with every TechSMS merchandise order. So just head on to techasms.com slash merchandise, choose your favorite merch, select the project name whose PCB you want and place the order. So with this you will not only get the favorite merchandise but you will also get the PCB of your favorite project absolutely free. Ok so after getting the PCB I soldered out all the components on it. After shouldering all the components the project looks something like this compact and easy to carry. Now let's first configure a Blink application. So open a Blink application on your smartphone. Now if you don't have Blink application already installed, then go ahead and click the link in the description to download it. After opening the app, click on new project. Now give a project name. I will name it as GPS tracker. After that, select the device as ESP32 dev board and choose the connection type as GSM. Just click on create project. Ok, so one authentication token will be sent to your register email id which will require at the time of programming. So right now just click on ok. Now tap on the screen and add the widget called map. Ok, now tap on the map widget to configure it. Here we will be sending the data on the virtual pin v0. So we will assign the input of this map widget as v0. That's it, click on ok. So here on the map, we will able to visualize the current location. But other than this location, we do have more data coming from the device. So we'll display that data as well. So just tap on the screen and add the widget called value display. Okay. So just tap on the widget. Now this widget will display the value of latitude. So I'll write as latitude and assign the pin as virtual pin V1. Great. We'll add one more value display and configure it for longitude. So its data is coming from virtual pin V2. Great. We'll add one more value display and we'll assign it for speed. And its data will be coming from virtual pin V3. Uh, one more value display. Now this is for direction. So I will write as direction. And its data is coming on virtual pin V4. And the last but not the least, I will add one more value display and this will be for number of satellites. So I will just write satellites and its data is coming on virtual pin V5. So this much data will be getting from the project. Okay. So yeah, this was all about the blink configuration. Now we are just left with the last part of the project and that's the coding. So this is the code for our GPS tracker project. Make sure you already have ESP32 boards packages installed on an Arduino ID. If not, then kindly watch out this video in which I have shown the complete process of it. After that, you need to have all these libraries installed on your Arduino. If you don't have any of this, then I have mentioned the respective links. So just download it and install it. Now I will let you know what changes you have to make inside the code. So first of all, in case you are using the emergency feature of this project, then provide your mobile number on which you want to get call or SMS and provide the message which you want to send on that given number. After that, you have to provide the APN of your network provider. In my case, I'm using the Vodafone SIM card whose APN is www. Just Google about the APN of your network provider and you'll easily get that. 
After that, you have to enter the authentication token of your Blink project, which you must have got on your register email ID. Just copy it and paste it here. That's it. This is all you need to change inside the code. Now just select the board as ESP32 Rover module, select the right COM port and hit the upload button. Make sure you upload the code on the board without making any connection with it. Ok, so the code is successfully uploaded. Now if I power up this board using the switch, as you can see, it don't get powered up. It's because of its built-in power management IC. Here we have to press this button once to power up the module. Ok, so the LED on the board started blinking. Now just insert this module inside the PCB. After some time, the LED on the GPS module should also start blinking which indicates that the module got connected with the satellites. But in my case, it is not blinking. It's because GPS generally don't work indoor. So just take out the project in some open space and the LED on the GPS module will start blinking. So now our project is ready for some actions. Now let's open up the Blink app on your phone and observe the data. Just click on the play button to run this project. Amazing, we are getting all the data on the app and we are even getting the exact location on the map widget. But this is not interesting. Let's test in the real world. So what I will do, I'll just put my smartphone turned on and let's take this project on a long ride. I'll put this project inside my scooter. And now, let's enjoy the ride. As you can see, I'm getting the data with almost accurate figures, maybe its speed or direction. This project is working completely fine. Now we are just left with exploring the emergency features. So I have provided two emergency features to this project. One is to send SMS and one is to make phone call. Now just imagine one scenario that you have this project and you are stuck in some emergency situation, okay? And the person on the other side is not monitoring you or maybe he is not active on your on the Blink application, maybe he's busy with some work, okay? And uh, you want to let him know the location. So what you will do, uh, you'll press this button and it will immediately make a call to that person or to that registered number, okay? Now this call is just to notify that person that hey I am in some emergency situation do check the Blink application and track my location okay. So this is the feature to notify that person via phone call. Now this phone call doesn't support the voice data transfer as it don't have the speaker and mic in build. Well it will be an amazing project to make our own phone for you know just calling purpose. Do let me know in the comments. Okay, so the next feature is about sending SMS. Now just recall that scenario again. But this time, the person on the other side is not having proper internet connection. Okay, maybe his internet connection is down. In that case, you can just press this button and it will send the latitude and longitude of your current location to that person via SMS. Okay, so by using the data of latitude and longitude, that person can track you using some other phone which have the internet connectivity. Okay, so by that phone, he will come to know that you are stuck in this position and he or she may be easily come to rescue you or you come to your location or at the time of emergency. Okay, so these were two features which I have, you know, embedded in this project. Do let me know in the comments, are this feature useful according to you or not? Do let me know your thoughts in the comments. So yeah, this was all about the project. This was all about the video. Do give a like to this video if you really enjoyed this project, if you really love this project. And do support me on Patreon if you really appreciate my work. That's it about the video. Subscribe my channel if you haven't and now just wait for my next video. Explore, learn, share with me, Techie SMS.